Hi my lovely people, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to my channel, there's that red button right there, subscribe button. Click that and ring that notification bell right next to it for all notifications so you will never miss any of my videos. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I post all my fragrance, lifestyle, fashion, every content that I create I post on Instagram. I make announcements on Instagram so you will never miss anything. So this video is all about Kaeli fragrances and Kaeli has released nine fragrances so far and I have done dedicated reviews for some of them and I will link them down in the description box for you guys. Make sure to check them out. If you want the whole spiel, you want everything, just go check those individual videos out. But I will be giving you an overall idea in this video of each of the fragrances so that you can decide if they are right for you. And in this video, you guys, I'm also going to rank all nine Kaeli fragrances from the one that I love the most to the one I like least. So that would be fun as well. So if you want to hear all about all of the Kaeli fragrances, just keep watching. Before I start my video, I wanted to share with you that I have been sick for over a week now. It's almost two weeks, you know, if, you, if I count like the first symptoms and it's the most horrible virus. It's not COVID, it's not the flu. I was actually blown away to find out that it was neither because it feels so severe. I was sure I had the flu or COVID actually, but I went to the doctor, got tested for both flu and COVID, turned out to be neither. Apparently it's this hideous virus that's going around that almost has like bronchitis like symptoms. If any of you out there have this nasty germ, let me know down in the comments section. Oh my goodness, I, it was so horrible and I feel so bad for my little babies. Well, my daughter brought it home from school. She caught it at school and we all got it. I feel so bad for my little poor babies. I mean, if I feel this horrible, they must, really feel bad but they are now they they both recovered a little faster than us because they got it first but my husband and I are still not well oh my goodness I cannot believe I put on makeup and I'm in front of the camera because I'm very dutiful and I want to bring you guys your video your Thursday video I actually couldn't upload my beauty video on my other channel on Tuesday if any of you missed that I'm so sorry I I was just not even in this world <laughs> those uh, few days I just couldn't even breathe but anyway enough about this terrible virus we want to talk about some Kaeli fragrances so I'm gonna start with my favorite Kaeli fragrance I thought about this long and hard you know I weighed different like you know things pros and cons and I took many things into consideration the scent itself where can I wear it? How can I use it? So many things into consideration and when I think about it really hard, I know this is my favorite. This got to be my favorite because it's such a versatile, amazing fragrance. And this I think is the favorite of a lot of people. This is none other than Kaeli Vanilla 28. This one, mm, I love this guy. No, by the way, you guys, I finally got my sense of smell back. I could not smell anything there for like, I think four days. So that's one of the other reasons I didn't film before. I'm actually filming this the day before, Thursday. I'm filming this on Wednesday. You know, I'm, that's how late I'm filming this because I couldn't smell anything until yesterday. I finally got my smell back. Uh, my sense of smell back. Mm, I can actually smell it right from the the atomizer here. But just because I love the atomizers of the Kaeli fragrances, I mean, they are the best. You hear the, the noise it makes? 
it actually sprays like a certain amount at a time and it's like the finest mist see mm. I want to be just wrapped in this scent it's such a gorgeous vanilla scent you guys it's a super sweet vanilla with a lot of amber it's got a little bit of musk in it slightly powdery it's got some mild spices um i just love this fragrance so this has some florals including vanilla orchid and jasmine which are always such beautiful florals to have in a vanilla fragrance you know this is so sweet you guys this literally has brown sugar in it brown sugar in here and this fragrance actually i'm not sure if it also has vanilla but what's revealed in the notes is actually tonka bean so this has tonka bean there's no vanilla listed but tonka bean has a very deep vanilla scent about it so i'm really glad they chose tonka bean for this fragrance because i think that deeper vanilla scent in tonka beans really complement that brown sugar you know so it's so delicious i mean the juice by the way the juice color of vanilla 28 it'll start out like if you get a bottle that looks has like darker looking juice then then like you've seen bottles with a with lighter juice it's because over time the juice will turn color a little bit a little darker don't don't fear that don't be afraid it's just normal it's just you know it it some sense turn color it doesn't mean it's going bad this is such a gorgeous scent um this also has a like i said a big dose of of amber and i know this has some musk because i can smell the musk i think this also has a little bit of uh, patchouli and amberette if i'm not mistaken but yeah the main two things that you should remember is that this has that gorgeous brown sugar and this has that tonka bean um it smells delicious it's one of the best vanillas out there if you ask me it just smells stunning and another thing amazing about this fragrance is that it's so versatile you can make this your signature scent because this has all the qualities that you want in a signature scent you can wear this any time of the day any occasion to any occasion any time of the year because vanilla scents you guys you can wear any time of the year um, check out by the way check out my signature scents video which i featured this fragrance in i will link it up here and down in the description box um, and also this is versatile because you can actually use this fragrance as a layering fragrance with other fragrances so vanilla is an is a fragrance note that comes in a lot of fragrances like if you look at the fragrance compositions of many fragrances you will see vanilla listed because vanilla is just that amazing fragrance note that just really adds that beautiful sweetness to fragrances that you really crave you know um, so if you want to kick up your vanilla in your fragrance whatever the fragrance you're wearing a little bit you want to make it sweeter you can use this to layer with you know so that's one beautiful thing about Kali 28 vanilla 28 actually Kali um, Mona Katan always says that she makes all of her fragrances so that you can layer them with other fragrances and I do agree a lot many of their fragrances I would say or all of them you can really mix um, and layer with other fragrances but especially this one because vanilla is just something you want to add, you know, to, to whatever you're wearing. In my top spot, number one spot, it's Kali Vanilla 28. So in number two spot, I have the gorgeous, gorgeous pink beauty in my hands. You know this one. I love the mirrored bottle. I really, really loved it when Kali released, started releasing the mirror bottles like the mirrored look oh i just absolutely love this bottle i mean if you didn't even like the scent it's worth it just for the bottle you know what i mean like i love this bottle this one is a stunning mainly rose fragrance oh. mm. 
I can also smell this from the atomizer, but um, I wanted to spray it just because it's just lovely to be wrapped in that scent. Mm. Ah, this one, you guys. It's such a lovely, lovely rose fragrance with some pink pepper. So you guys know pink pepper is a soft spice note that is kind of like bubbly and bright, you know. It, uh, it is said to be a fragrance note that invokes like feelings of falling in love in your brain. Apparently Mona Katan, I believe, said that. It's a very rosy, um, spicy fragrance. It's got some soft spices like pink pepper. It's got some warm spices lot of rose like you can smell the rose in this fragrance it's also a little woody it's musky it's powdery it's got some amber you can actually smell the amber here too um you can de definitely smell that sort of balsamic resin kind of vibes in this fragrance that comes from you know amber by the way you guys i did a full dedicated review of this fragrance Check it out, I will link it up here and down in the description box. So if you want the entire full review, check that video out. This has got some gorgeous spices like pink pepper and I'm pretty sure that this has other warm spices. I'm thinking there's some cinnamon in here um, because I feel like I smell cinnamon in here. And there's like gorgeous florals. There's lily, I think lily in here. There's that Bulgarian rose and May rose, like rose de Mai, I think that's one of the, like Bulgarian and rose de Mai are two of the very expensive rose uh, notes. There's magnolia, there's like vanilla orchid. So there's so many florals in here. There's gorgeous sensual sandalwood, lots of amber, I think in the base as well. There's also uh, musk and patchouli. A lot of people said that this smells like it has oud. I really, I don't, I'm not smelling that you guys. I don't smell any oud in here. I can see where people are coming from because it has that sort of like darkness about it too. A little bit of like a, a deep oriental darkness about it. Like in the base, especially in the dry down. But I think that comes from some kind of resin balsam note. I think it's maybe like the heavy dose of amber. A heavy dose of amber mixed with maybe the like the rose notes. I have no idea, but I am not getting oud from this. But I can see why people are saying that. Because it does have like that sort of oriental vibe that comes from oud, you know? It could be other unrevealed fragrance notes. But I'm not smelling a distinct oud smell from this. But there's one other here, um, the next, one of the other ones I'm about to talk about. That one has a lot of oud, I think, but not this one. I think it's a fragrance that really calls for nighttime occasions, date night, I mean going out, dinner at night, whatever have you for nighttime it is a fragrance that is probably going to be better worn in the colder months but it's not a fragrance you couldn't wear in the summer or warmer months at nighttime i think you can wear this all year round just at nighttime really like it it's my, my second favorite from kaylee kaylee sweet diamond pink pepper 25. next i have a fragrance in my hand that i kind of surprised myself that this is my number three or third favorite from from Kali because y'all are going to think that I will pick a certain one and I thought I would pick a certain one out of the bunch but no this is my third favorite this one right here is Kali Elixir 11 this is also a gorgeous dark rose fragrance this has ooh, I can smell it right from the uh, atomizer here but I'm gonna spray it anyway, mm, just for that mist, you know. Yeah, this is a beautiful rose fragrance. It's very deep, very dark, very sultry. It has this sort of, you know, like um, femme fatale kind of vibe to it. I'm not gonna say that these two fragrances are alike at all. I'm just talking about the vibe. These are not dupes, so please don't jump into conclusions. This has the same vibe as Maison Francisca Gian, Oud Satin Mood, but it doesn't, it's, they're not dupes. <laughs> it's not even close. But 
they both have the same sort of like dark rose fragrance vibes, you know? And this one does not have oud, by the way, like which um, MFK oud satin mood does have. It has many differences from this. They're not really like dupes or anything like that. They're not that similar at all. But the vibe is kind of similar. This one is very much a rose fragrance with a lot of patchouli. Like I said, this is some amber and this is fruity. There are some fruity notes in here. Some spices, you know. There's some musk as many of the Kayali fragrances have. Musk. So this is mainly a rose fragrance and there's patchouli in here. But you... It's not offensive. Like... You can't actually smell the earthiness of the patchouli that's in here. It's quite weird, you guys. I mean, you can't smell the earthiness of the patchouli at all. The patchouli that's in here is super well blended then because it's hard to pick it, pick it out, like the patchouli. And this also has um, some other florals, like some white florals. It's got some, you know, mild spices and it's got a, a lot of fruity vibe. Like there are some fruity notes in here. Um, there's a little bit of vanilla. This has got like a nice like rosy sweetness to it, if that makes sense. With a little bit of that fruity touch, you know. And this has of course got a nice dose of amber. So this fragrance has rose. I think it's rose de mai, may rose. This has like red apple, which is like that juicy fruity vibe that you get in this fragrance when you first spray it. I think that's in the opening. And then this has jasmine sambac and this has that beautiful dose of vanilla, amber, and patchouli. This one, you guys, is so stunning because I find myself wearing this fragrance at nighttime, just for no reason. Like, I would reach for this. I don't understand why I do that. I like to take this and mix it with Kayali vanilla at nighttime. Like, it, it smells sweet, you know, and it, it has that little bit of, like, sultry vibes too, but it's also kind of comforting. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. It's something about this fragrance somehow is comforting too. I don't know why it is. And there's no oud by the way in here. But the rose feels very dark. I don't know how they did that because usually you make that rose note dark by adding oud. Usually it's oud that makes that rose kind of dark and mysterious, you know? Like in the Maison Francis Cargion oud satin mood, the rose is dark and mysterious because of the oud. But in this fragrance, there's no oud. Um, so it, the rose still feels dark. I'm not sure how they did that. You can wear this nighttime. Um, to a date. It's such a beautiful fragrance. You can mix it with the Kayali Vanilla. Ooh, such a gorgeous combo. They complement each other like there's no tomorrow. It's a fragrance that can be worn all year round. Um, you can wear it daytime too, but there's something dark and mysterious about this fragrance that sort of, you know, lends itself to nighttime, you know what I'm saying? This fragrance lasts quite a long time on me. Um, it's quite lasting, long lasting. I would say I get about 8 hours from this. Vanilla 28 and Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper, they last on me quite a while as well. Um, I would say about, you know, 7 to 8 hours as well. It's definitely one of those intimate type of fragrances that you want to wear for like, you know, like a Netflix night or Close Encounters or, um, you know, just like a casual date at night, you know that sort of fragrance. There's something mysterious about it too, so it's kind of sexy. So in number three spot, this is Kayali Elixir 11. So number five on the list is a gorgeous white floral fragrance. You guys know which one I'm talking about. This one is Kayali Deja Vu White Floral 57. This one, you guys, is a stunning, mm, stunning, stunning, stunning white floral fragrance. Mm. It's very lovely, very feminine. Just a feminine, gorgeous, stunning white floral fragrance. It's quite sweet. It's got some woody notes. It's got obviously musk. It's got a good dose of vanilla. It's a little powdery. It's of course going to be animalic because of the white florals. So you guys, this has all the top gorgeous white florals in it. This has gardenia, jasmine, there's orange blossom and tuberose. So all like the main gorgeous white florals that we know of, they're in here. And there's some uh, juicy fruity notes too. I think there's like pear and 
nectarine or something, some juicy fruity notes that sort of add a little bit of juiciness to this fragrance. This fragrance is actually quite sweet for a white floral. Um, I wonder if the vanilla dose is quite heavy in here, you know what I mean? Maybe that's what's making it sweet. So whenever you add that like big dose of vanilla, the fragrance is so good. And of course this has that sort of sensual sandalwood. Um, there's like patchouli too, I believe, but you don't almost smell the patchouli in here. Like actually you can't even detect it very much. It's really well blended. If it's there, it's only in the background, um, sort of like in there just to kind of give this fragrance longevity maybe because you can't almost smell it. Do you see the juice color? There's something in there. I'm guessing there's a yellow floral in there or some amber you guys because the juice color doesn't get this yellow or golden just from white florals. But yeah, I don't know, maybe there's like a, a yellow floral that they haven't revealed like ylang ylang. But do I smell ylang ylang? Not really. If ylang ylang is there, it's really well blended into the white florals that you almost don't. No, I'm not. I'm not smelling ylang ylang. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, the juice color seems a little bit darker. You know, actually, it turned darker over time too. I don't remember it being this ambery looking when I first bought it. I wonder if it has a little bit of amber. Tiny bit of amber, maybe? That they haven't revealed? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, this one is a definitely a daytime fragrance, you guys. You can wear this all day long, you know? Not a nighttime fragrance. This is something you can wear in the warmer months for sure. I'm not so sure about colder months because this is a very light white floral fragrance, you know? It's probably gonna get swallowed up by winter i've never worn this in the winter i've only worn this in the like warm months like the hotter days you know um it's something that actually would work even in the hottest months you know yeah daytime wear i would say longevity quite decent again about like seven hours on my skin on my clothes it lasts a lot longer um yeah beautiful white floral fragrance i just love the way it smells it smells so um so feminine and alluring very yeah feminine really is though it's very pretty it's a pretty fragrance so in the fourth spot this is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower 57 I have here in my hands one of the top like amber dominant fragrances I know on the market this is very ambery doesn't get amberier than this you guessed it this is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23 this guy, hmm, this one, hmm, this is stunning. I mean, really, I picked those other ones because I just like the scent profile more, but this is stunning too. Oh, I love amber fragrances as well. Let me spray it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Now, this one is a deeper, very deep amber fragrance. Hmm. It's quite complex. As you guys know, this has like lots of notes. Like this has even got cherry in it. This has got tobacco. This has got oud. I mean, name it. This has got everything. Uh, this is quite sweet as well. It's very ambery. It's got some warm spices. It's a little bit nutty. Some nutty notes in here. It's got uh, vanilla and there's a little bit of honey. This is a very complex fragrance. You can smell like the the blend of all those very deep fragrance notes in here. I gotta say this is also kind of, to me this is a very sort of um, thick gourmet, you know? Kind of like in the same w sense as the um, Lancome Oud Bouquet. You know how it's a very dense, thick fragrance and it's kind of syrupy? So that's the same thing with this fragrance. It's very deep, very... Um, kind of like um, a deep gourmet with very deep notes and it's got a little bit of syrupiness about it, you know? A very heavy, heavy gourmet fragrance that's really only appropriate for fall and winter. I would say mainly fall because it's that it's got that darkness, you know? That's uh, great for fall. I mean, this has got everything, you guys. This has got like tobacco, this has got cherry, this has got honey, this has got like 
chocolate even. I think there's hazelnut in it. Um, there are warm spices like cinnamon. There are like two kinds of rose I think here like um, like May rose and some other kind of rose. There's amber of course like a massive massive dose of amber. There's oud, there's patchouli, there's I think vanilla and benzoin both which gives it a nice vanilla you know accord because benzoin is a resin that smells kind of like vanilla and this has got you know obviously patchouli there's some musk i think this also has cypro oil which is like an herbal node um i think it's also called nargamota which gives it a little bit of herbally vibe as well i mean it's a very like complex fragrance with so many different notes like combining tobacco with cherry with honey with oud with rose and like all these you know like fragrance notes many of which are very kind of dark and sultry which makes sense and she said I believe when she launched this she wanted it to be kind of like an intimate fragrance like a a dark heavy gourmet kind of um, you know sexy amber where kind of you're like invited to you know special invite invitation you know what I'm saying she said something along those lines so I can see that um, this one is definitely sultry a very um, like a deep sultry amber fragrance I would say this is definitely nighttime wear during colder months and I would recommend this more for fall than for winter this can be a good one for going out night out dinner dates like whatever it is i mean if your significant other loves the scent certainly wear it you know on date night you know what i'm saying like and even intimate uh situations uh would be a good fragrance if if your significant other really likes the scent by the way i have a dedicated review of this fragrance on my channel check it out i would link it up here and down in the description box yeah this one is in number four five fifth spot this is Kali invite only amber 23 so next i have in my hand another very floral dominant fragrance uh, with sort of a vacation vibe this made like you know waves when it first came out but there is something about this that people didn't like i will talk to you about that here in a minute it's mostly like a white floral fragrance but it's got some like you know notes that make it like a vacation appropriate fragrance i will tell you what it is so in sixth part this one is keali utopia vanilla coco 21. so this one you guys is really pretty too very pretty let me spray this this is really pretty it's got a lot of white florals you smell a lot of florals it's got a lot of vanilla um it's powdery it's sweet it's musky this has got coconut like quite a bit of coconut as well that's kind of what makes it sort of vacation-esque you know type fragrance this is definitely a fragrance for i would say summertime great one for vacation great one for like outings during summer daytime wear for sure this has got a lot of coconut in the opening. This has got quite a bit of lovely white florals. This has got honeysuckle, jasmine, tuberose, gardenia. It's got a little bit of citrus. I think amberette, that, that's muskmallow. Um, this has got <clears throat> quite a bit of vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli, I believe. So when it first came out, I did a review of this fragrance and I sprayed it on and I actually you know like sprayed it quite a bit I over sprayed on myself before I reviewed this fragrance and it lasted on me you know uh, quite nicely and I didn't go out that day or anything I was staying at home and I tried it for a few days um, same result I got about you know seven hours of wear a little more I think it was yeah seven plus hours of wear from this fragrance and then you know you'd have to respray so the performance wasn't terrible on me you guys but I heard so many people say that this doesn't last on them at all like at all some people say that this disappears within two hours when I first started wearing this I got a little bit more wear from this because I was probably because I was at home all the time I never wore this out 
um, before I reviewed it. I did a full review by the way of this. I'll link it up here and down in the description box. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that that aspect. I'm going to test this fragrance out more, of course, when I when summer comes, when the weather warms up and I start to wear this a lot more, I'll be able to really like really like nail it. Okay, exactly this many hours. But it's a very light, beautiful, vacationy, hot summer day fragrance. You can wear it on a, a super blazing hot summer day. And you can wear it on a vacation or whatever even to run around you guys wear this just running around in the summertime going to run errands you can even wear that like that type of fragrance you know what I'm saying you can wear it all day long in the summer really um, and it's a good vacation one too um, if longevity is a problem for you or it doesn't last on you then that might be a problem for vacations but other than that, it's a gorgeous fragrance. I, I like it. Is it my favorite Kaoli fragrance? No. As you saw, there are other ones that I love better. Yeah, this one is in the sixth part. This one is Kaoli Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. So in the seventh spot, I have a musky fragrance in my hands. You know what this one is. This one is Kaoli Musk 12. Very simple. She's simple. She's a simple, simple one. But musk, as you guys know, is a fragrance note that perfumers put in fragrances to make the fragrances sexy and give it like this sensual, sexy appeal, like this edge to fragrances. It makes fragrances smell like kind of edgy, sexy, and something sensual about musk, you know? So this one is musk heavy. Hmm, but you know what you guys, this is musk heavy, but I'm smelling a lot of florals as well. You know, I was wondering what that ethereal, gorgeous floral was that I'm smelling in here. Well, guess what you guys, this has lotus. No wonder, I could smell this beautiful ethereal floral that I thought maybe like some white floral and this floral note smelled so familiar to me where I come from you know lotus flowers are everywhere and I knew I knew that scent no I, I don't understand why I didn't realize it right away yeah it's lotus there's lotus in this fragrance and that makes so much sense to put something like lotus in a musk fragrance with that sort of sensual edginess that musk has that lotus with that gorgeous like beautiful like goddess like ethereal quality that lotus scent has would just it's perfect so you guys i started going off on the lotus note but this has other florals like jasmine and i think freesia too freesia is like kind of a greenish white floral and this has got a huge dose of musk obviously and this has a massive dose of vanilla and this has also a, a good dose of sandalwood that gives it sort of a sensual touch as well which is perfect with musk that tends to be sort of you know sensual like very uh, sexy you know I think Lotus was such a lovely addition right in that first spray it's in the opening you can smell that Lotus so pretty and you can smell that big dose of musk obviously right afterwards this is one you can actually mix with a lot of the other fragrances too not just Kaali but other fragrances because you guys just like vanilla musk is a fragrance note that Perfumers add to a lot of fragrances. So if you want to dial up the sexy, if you want to dial up the edgy, if you want to dial up the sensual musky smell, layer this with any fragrance you're wearing, um, especially the ones that complement the fragrance composition, of course. This is really nice um, layering fragrance, Musk 12, just like Vanilla 28. Very, very nice to mix with because Musk is that fragrance note that comes in a lot of fragrances so yeah this is Kaeli Musk 12. So I have two more fragrances I haven't reviewed yet so I like them both about the same so I'm gonna just put them on the same level I think uh, because you know I don't feel any different you know they, they're about the same to me 
um, in terms of what I like. I have a very citrusy fragrance in my hands. You guessed it. This one is Kali Citrus 08. Now this one is a super fresh citrusy fragrance. I mean, it's a burst of citrus. I'm usually not a massive fan of citrusy fragrances, like super citrusy fragrances, because to, to me, citrus fragrances are more um, mas not masculine, like you find like citrusy freshness in a lot of the men's fragrances because you know, men like to feel like fresh, you know, they feel like they, you know, sweat a lot and stuff like that. So um, you get citrus in men's fragrance a lot more. And yeah, citrus is in women's fragrances too, unisex, every type. Um, citrus is one of those fragrance notes that you actually, um, you know, you get in many of the fragrances as well, just like musk and vanilla, you know? This is one fragrance that I actually use mainly for layering uh, with other things. When I want to freshen up something, like I want to add like a freshness, more freshness to a, one of my summer fragrances, that's when I use this. I don't tend to wear this by itself very much, unless like it's a super hot day and I really want to feel fresh and citrusy, you know what I mean? It's actually quite aromatic because citrus fragrances tend to be quite aromatic. It's quite fresh, of course, and it's got a little hint of green from, I will tell you what note it has that greenness um, from. It's got some fresh spices, some florals, maybe some fruity notes too. Um, but yeah, I know that the, the greenness, by the way, comes from rhubarb. This has juicy fruity notes like blackcurrant. This obviously has a ton of citruses like pink grapefruit. There's bergamot, um, I think more citruses, I don't know. I remember this also has pink pepper, I think, when I looked it up. And, and rose, there are a couple of rose notes in here. There is quite a bit of um, musk in here. And this has a little bit of tonka bean. Although I can't, I cannot smell the tonka bean whatsoever in here, you guys. You can smell the rose in here. You know what? The rose mixed with the, with the green notes, like rhubarb and the citruses, make it smell a little bit like the rose you smell in like a Very Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. That kind of like greenish rose, you know, fresh rose. You can smell a little hint of the, the rose in here. The mossiness, yeah, like slightly, but the tonka bean, no way. I do not smell no tonka bean in here at all. At all. Yeah, musk, you can smell the musk as well. It is a qu quite nice, very refreshing, light, fresh, aromatic, citrusy fragrance that is perfect for hot summer days, like blazing sun days, you know? Like perfect fragrance, kind of like Dolce & Gabbana light blue, Entrance. It's kind of the same category. Summertime only, strictly hot summer days. Don't wear it any other time. It'll get eaten up like this. Performance isn't perfect, isn't great. I'd say about four hours-ish. You gotta respray on. That's to be expected from fresh fragrances a lot of the times anyway you guys it's a it's a lovely citrus fragrance and by the way this is one other just like the vanilla and the musk that you can really really layer with any other fragrance because it's mainly like one note dominant like you can layer this with any summer fragrance of yours that you want to lighten or freshen more like make them smell more fresh and airier and lighter and more aromatic so if you want to to make any of your summer fragrances like that use this Kali citrus 08 the last fragrance eden juicy apple 01 by Kali. now i had i bought that fragrance but i gave it away because it was just a little bit too juvenile for me which by the way i did a full review of that fragrance i will link it up here and down in the description box for you guys. I did a full review, yes I bought it, but I gave it away to someone who will enjoy it a lot more. By the way, the bottle is gorgeous. I love the red bottle. I almost kept it just for the bottle, but I asked myself, are you really going to wear this again? Probably not. When you have 400 fragrances in a collection, even if you don't like something a little bit, no, no point. 
you know no point in keeping it's very fruity obviously it's very sweet um, very fruity uh, like a vanilla fragrance with a little bit of um, woody nuance but like mostly like fruity floral you know it is lovely but it smells a lot like an inexpensive Victoria's Secret or Bath and Body Works body spray it, it's not super expensive but still I couldn't tell you that I couldn't recommend it to you for that price um, because of the scent profile and yeah if you think that it's a lovely fragrance and you have like a, a young person like young girl in your life young someone in your life who you know in their adolescent years who will enjoy this fragrance and it's worth that niche price you know all the power to you buy that fragrance for that that young girl or you know whoever wants to wear it an adolescent but to me as a grown woman it had no appeal uh, does it mean it's a terrible fragrance no i mean it's it's lovely it's it's a beautiful like fruity uh, juicy fresh fragrance it's just not for a grown woman you know it has i think like red apple there's black currant that juicy black currant there are some citrus notes and there's like lychee as well so it's very very fruity and that's you know that's the thing you guys when you make like predominantly juicy fruity fragrances it's really hard to make them smell grown up and i do know mona katan said that she targeted that fragrance or she made that fragrance for like youth it's a youthful fragrance i mean she did say that she intended for like you know young people like it's a youthful fragrance yeah it sure is a youthful fragrance um so yeah it has like wild berries too so it's got that berry thing going on as well it's got florals like jasmine and rose this has got like some vanilla a little bit of amber some musk i think it had sugar as well um yeah it just like the fruity notes the berry notes um the juicy fruity notes and the berry notes come through the most in that fragrance and it it smells quite a bit like a berry fruity body spray from from bath and body works that's like to me you know what if you want to wear it and feel you know like a teenager and that's how you want to smell all the power to you i don't have it because i gave it away but i did buy it i have the full review up check it out so it's the last one on my list not because it's a terrible fragrance just because it's just not for me it's just not my taste and it's not my vibe, it's not what I want to smell like, you know. It is KLE Eden Juicy Apple 01. That's it, you guys. Those are all my KLE fragrances, all nine of them rated and reviewed for you from my favorite to my least favorite this time. So I hope you liked this video, you enjoyed it. Tell me what's your favorite Kayali fragrance and your least favorite i would really love to know so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already ring that notification bell for all notifications so you will never miss one of my videos and don't forget to follow me on instagram where i post everything everything i do yeah i will see you guys in my next video